Welcome to the TB2J tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how to use TB2J with the Wally interface. We will go through the whole procedure of running DFD calculation, constructing the Wally functions, and computing the exchange parameters. We will use the perovskite structure strontium manganite as example, and we will use abinite as the DFD code. After doing the self-consistent calculation, we can get the electronic structure of the material. We can have a look at the project density state to know what kind of projectors we should put in the one function and what energy window we should use. From the project density state, we could see that near the Fermi energy at zero, we have the uh, oxygen 2p, magnesium 3d, and the strontium s orbitals. The strontium S orbital is much higher than the Fermi energy, so we can uh, basically ignore it. And we can take the manganese, and manganese 3D and oxygen 2P as the projector. Then we have to uh, define the energy window for uh, constructing the one function. We, have, we need to define two windows. One is the frozen window, and the other is the uh, disentanglement window. The frozen window is the energy range, which uh, we have only the orbitals we are interested in. So basically, it's the uh, oxygen 2p and manganese 3d. And we can see that in order not to have any strontium s orbitals, we need to uh, have the energy smaller than. Five point something here, so we can, for example, set the energy to uh, five. The disentanglement window should contain all the orbitals we are interested in, so we can basically go to like uh, uh, six or or a path more, like uh, seven or eight. We can go here somewhere. Then we can build the input files for the binary function. For the collinear calculation, we need uh, one input file for each spin channel. So we will need the spin up input file, which is... And we can have a look. In the project intensive state, the energy is shifted so that the Fermi energy is zero. And now we have to add the Fermi energy to, to it. And we have the, uh, the disentangle window and the frozen window here. And we have the number of one functions, uh, which is 14. For each oxygen, there are three p orbitals, and for each manganese, there are five d orbitals. So that is three by three plus five, which is 14. And uh, note that in in the one input file, we should uh, uh, op turn on the write x y z and write h r so that uh, the one centers and the Hamiltonian will be written into a file which is used by TB2J. And in the projection, we can uh, put the manganese D and oxygen P. For the spin down channel, that's basically the, the same procedure. And then we can run abinit uh, to generate the initial projectors, and then we can run 1 in 90 to get the uh, files we need. Note that after we run 1 in 90, we need to check the 1 if center and the spread to see if the 1 if functions are well localized and they are localized near the atoms. So here we can see that we have uh, 5 1 if functions which are very localized and the, they are close to uh, the same atom which is manganese. And we could see uh, these three are close to one of the oxygen, and these three as well, and these three as well. So we could see that uh, in this calculation, the uh, one functions are well localized. And then we need to check the band structure to see if uh, the one function band structure agrees very well with the uh, density functional theory uh, band structure. In this directory, we have already uh, prepared the one output files we need, which is the hr.dat file and the one center file, the centers.xyz file. 
and we have the ambient input, which we have the uh, atomic uh, positions. Then we can, with this, we can run TB2J. So we could uh, use the uh, command one dot j dot pi, one to j dot pi, and uh, we can specify the position file, which is app dot in. Uh, this script use ASE to pass the structure file, which include a lot of uh, DFD input file, output files, and it can also use the uh, common format like the XYZ or CIF uh, in case that uh, some of the input file formats are not well supported. And then we need to specify the The prefix of the one if uh, function file. Then we need to specify the prefix of the one if function files for the spin up and spin down channel. And the magnetic and the magnetic element, which is manganese. And the Fermi energy. And the Fermi energy in the unit of EV, which we can get from the DFT output, and the key mesh. Then we can run TB2J. It will read the spin up and spin down while Hamiltonian, and calculate the Green's function, then calculate the exchange parameters. Okay, now the calculation is finished. We can have a look at the result in the TB2J results directory, and we have. Uh, the exchange.out file where we have the ISO 12 exchange. We can see that uh, for the first neighbor it's uh, minus 7 and for the second neighbor it's minus 5, 7. And it generates output for several spin dynamics code, for example, multi binit and vampire. And with this input, we can uh, modify it, and then we can run the spin dynamics to get some properties like the uh, critical temperature. In this video, we use collinear spin as an example, and we uh, get the. Uh, in this video, we use collinear spin as an example, and we get the isotropic exchange. If we want to get the unisotropic exchange and the Jernigan-Scalia interaction parameters. We need to do a long linear spin calculation, and we can turn on the spin orbit coupling. In that case, uh, we will need to uh, generate the spinner one function, which we will uh, discuss in another video. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.